Welcome back to Viking Basketball with Tyler Geving. As the Vikings get ready for another home game this Saturday, we're going to talk about Sacramento State in just a moment. Coach, we're going to first talk about last week's game, and I think you couldn't possibly have two more different games, and this kind of reminds me of an old saying a old coach of mine once had. He said, you're never as good as your best, and you're never as bad as your worst. And we might have seen both of those in terms of performances last week what was your take from that great game thursday and then a real frustrating one saturday yeah you're you're pretty accurate on that and what you just said i thought you know thursday night against north dakota i mean obviously we're, we're beating a team that's you know top four in the league you know coming back and five starters and you know for us to come out and beat them by 37 that, that was pretty impressive we got after them defensively and created a lot of steals and got some easy run outs and uh, just played with so, so much energy on thursday night and you know, Saturday, you know, I think you got to credit Northern Colorado, too. I, I don't think they get enough credit on this deal of, you know, as far as how their defense was. And, um, you know, we had a lot of open shots. We, we didn't make them. We were 7-31 to 31 from the three-point line, and we'd been shooting the ball extremely well. And, you know, sometimes you're going to have those nights, you know, where you just you just don't shoot it. And obviously the free throw line going four for 21, you're, you're probably not going to win a lot of games when – uh, when you're doing that, but um, more, more than anything, I think credit to Northern Colorado in that game and, and how they game planned against us. But, but it was a little disappointing to play so well Thursday and then come out Saturday and and uh, you know I don't want to say lay an egg, but just not get a win or not not compete as, as hard as we probably should have. So um, you know the kid the kids realize it and and I think that's the important thing and we just got to bounce back and be ready to go on Saturday. Okay, let's talk about. Uh North Dakota a little bit and the talk about the Vikings this year is the points they're scoring and it, it's been phenomenal but really those 99 points starts with defense and I think that really kick starts your team and, and uh, we talked after the game about those two guards you have out front and the way they're able to create turnovers make steals and talk a little bit about how important that is to your game. Yeah I mean we had I think they turned it over 26 times maybe we had 16 steals I, I think in that game but yeah, I mean, Zach and Kalen are really good at getting their hands on balls and, um, you know, just, you know, a deflection can lead to a steal, which leads to a layup the other way. And, you know, that's I think that's something that we're pretty good at. If we can get steals or long rebounds or any rebound, we can kind of get our transition game going a little bit. So um, those those guys are good at that. Um, you know, Bryce Kanda has done a good job of that and North and, um, you know, uh, Deshaun Parsons, our, our kind of our four perimeter guys have done a good job of getting hands on the ball and reading passing lanes. And um, like you said, if our defense can create easy points, that's, that's a good thing for us. Okay, and then we will talk a little bit about that free throw shooting. Really a poor night uh, at the line against Northern Colorado, the Vikings, 4 of 21, in a game where they were kind of making a comeback and couldn't get the free throw opportunities to go down that might have made a difference in that game. Um, obviously, that's water under the bridge now, but what do you do with a team that struggles on just one night like that when you come out to practice? Uh, how do you get them back into where they have confidence and maybe it's not not a mental block? Well, I think it, it starts with coaching a little bit as far as we got to give confidence. And, you know, those, for whatever reason, we just we, we got in a rut and we just couldn't make a free throw. And like you said earlier off the air, it just it just you could just see it build up. And um, I think more than anything, we just got to give the kids confidence. Obviously, they're college basketball players. They can make them. And um, it's probably like you and I, you know, missing that five foot putt. I mean, you and I could probably go four for 21 miss, from five feet. I know. Well, I just give. I just say give me. So, okay. so my score is pretty good. But, you know, I, I think more than anything, I, I don't think you really, you know, beat the kids down. And they're not up there trying to miss. I mean, it's just those things happen, and we just gotta continue. We shoot them every day. We gotta continue to shoot them. We gotta continue to give our kids confidence, and um, they're gonna go in. We've had nights where, you know, I think at Pepperdine we went 22 of 26, some some type of number like that. So we're capable of doing it. I, I just don't think you can make a big deal out of it. Um, obviously, you know, we have to have a little bit more concentration at practice and maybe take it a little bit more serious or so forth and so on. Little things here and there, but um, more than anything, just give the kids confidence and, and not have it become a a mental, uh, you know, I don't know what you would call it, mental lapse for them or whatever, but uh, go up there, just step up and knock it down. And I will say, as this practice just ended, final drill with some free throw shooting, Vikings made 10 straight from 10 different players. So just like that, uh, that's how much it changes in a day. Um, okay, coach, let's talk about Sacramento State. Now, Sacramento State will come in here Saturday night, 
to the Stott Center, 7 o'clock game. Uh, they're only 3-10 and 10 on the season, which to me is a bit of a surprise because this is a team that's got uh, four really solid starters that uh, come back from last year and performing well. Uh, a little bit of a surprise that they're not getting the victories. Uh, I mean, I, I look at their schedule. Their schedule's been hard. They've been, they were on the road a lot, just like the rest of us, you know. And I think the same thing against Northern Colorado. They had open shots. They just didn't make them. If they make those like we make them, then we probably win the game, and they probably win the game. Obviously, they did a great job against North Dakota and uh, maybe had the game won, uh, ended up going to overtime. North Dakota scored at the buzzer to send it to overtime. So, yeah, they have four starters back, four really good players uh, that have played a lot of minutes for them. Uh, they're very good inside. Uh, you know, Studeville, Hornsby, Strings. Uh, Strings can shoot it from the outside. So they got three really good kind of inside players there. Graves is a really solid point guard that's uh, played a lot of minutes for him last year. So this is a this is a very talented team. It's a well-coached team. I know Brian really well. He's done a great job over the years there at Sac State. So, um, yeah, you, you throw out their record, but I think a lot of it is just kind of who they played and, and being on the road, and I don't think you can read too much into that. But uh, we, we need to be ready to go. They're, they're starting to play with a lot more confidence. Okay, and you touched on it. Uh, here's a team with a little bit of size inside, and, and a lot of teams playing small, including the Vikings, usually only playing uh, two posts, occasionally only one post at a time. Uh, any special concerns, or how do you address a little more size at Sac State Brands? Well, we're, we're definitely worried about it a little bit. I think uh, I think they're going to try and jam it inside on us, and that's kind of been their game plan and what they like to do. So, um, but. We have to prepare for that, and obviously we have to prepare for Graves as a really good player. So, um, you know, they got they got multiple pieces. So, um, you know, more than anything, I think we just got to get mentally right after, you know, Saturday. I think we got a little, I don't want to say we lost confidence or anything like that, but, you know, just a little chink in the armor. And, um, you know, we've had a couple good practices, and we need to have two more good practices heading into Saturday. All right. Vikings go into Saturday's game at 8-5 and five on the season. One and one in the Big Sky Conference. 16 more conference games to go. It starts Saturday night right here at the Stott Center. Get all your information at govikes.com.